Hi guys, right, we're just going to pop to the midwife's now. Um, Chloe's got a routine appointment there with midwife, so if you want to come along with us, you can come along and see how we're getting on. Yeah, yeah he tends to move more at night time, so I just, yeah. it's not really much movement in the day. Mm. But there is, but just not as strong. Do you know what you're having? Yes, little boy. Oh, hello. <laughs> he can hear you now. He can, yeah. yeah. Hi guys, right, we're just going to pop into B&M. What's wrong, Ebony? I was going to potato. Oh, okay, we're just going to pop into um, B&M to see if we can find some things for um, the supplies for the new projects they've got. So it's going to have a look at the paint. Mm. They're like, oh, look at these. They're the I'm a Celebrity. Crispy Critters. They They're not real, are they? <laughs> these look like Bella. No, they are. <laughs> They're not, they are. are they actually real? Shall I check the yeah. bag? Oh, yeah, no. no, they are. Salt and vinegar. Oh Whole my cream. dehydrated. God. Yeah. Mum, do you want a little snack? No, I don't. Salt and vinegar. I'll eat them. Flavoured oh, crickets. Barbecue. That is the most disgusting thing ever. How much are they? What do you reckon to these, Phoebes? No! How much are they? A quid. No, I'm, not I'm not going to buy them, don't worry. Oh my God, look. Hang on a second. This is the canned dog food. No, oh, I feel like I'm trying to eat them. It rounds. Bean boozled. Sick or April? Uh, oh, they have a sick one. I was deadly really fit. Sick. Dead yeah. fish, skunk spray. What they actually taste of this? Yeah, do they? I was sick in Rianne's sink. Why have we got this really nice section here that's got really <laughs> disgusting <laughs> things in it? Lovely big pack of laces uh -huh. and snow and pink. Oh, yeah. laces. Yeah. What's this one? I don't know. The baby food. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Brave, well, it looks a bit better than the the what's it ones. I don't know. Yeah. Is it Alfie? Yeah. So that says this house believes in unicorns. What's that one say, Ebs? It's just like a cute little unicorn oh, thing. Oh, it says welcome. That's and nice. And then a unicorn lives here. Oh. So a unicorn theme. They're cool. What are you looking at, Courtney? Finger on stuff. Makeup. Well, makeup. It's always makeup, I'm trying it? to find other oh, they are, the knits. I thought you said the knits. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm quite good. You like that stuff, don't you? Yeah. That's nice. Um, I like that colour. One ninety nine. They don't look natural. Who are they talking about? See, I love colours like this. I have about ten thousand bottles of <laughs> nail that varnish. Same colour. Yeah, I've got about five bottles of the oh, same colour. This one. This one. This one. Yeah, this but they're one. nice though, aren't they? How much are they? I don't know how much they are, but that that's really nice colour. I like that. You're looking at eye lashes. Well, I bought some from AliExpress, but it's taking. Mm. What's that one? Oh, powder. Uh, powder foundation. How much is that? Oh, yeah, I say. Three, four quid probably. Yeah, probably be about four quid. Yeah. I need a new one of these. That's cool. Oh, these are sweet. Little clips and bubbles and stuff. A pound. Oh, dropping them. Right, <laughs> so we're going to have a look at these baskets because... Um, Chloe's doing up her baby changing unit, so we're just going to have a look around. I'm not that impressed, though, Chloe. They're not too bad, but they're not really the right colour, are they? No, we're probably better to get the camp. Yeah, yeah, they're not, not brilliant. Not really quite what you're looking for, are they? I haven't seen these drawer organisers before. Yes, Ebony? No. You're going to tell me you want it? Yeah. How did we all know that? Why does that not surprise me? Because... Right. Oh, Mum, I really... Look at your eyes, Mama, look. I need this. I need what? this one but... thing. It fit in my drawer. <laughs> look at this one. <laughs> Chloe, have you seen this? Look, it says been inside for nine months. It's like a... <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, that's good. Plaster casting kit. That's good for 4 99 Isn't it? I know it's cursed, but I just think we need these. What, you want that for yourself? Yeah. For any little accidents? Yeah. Dribbles? I was going to say, I thought you'd have something to say because you've always got something to say, Courtney. I have, but I don't think... <laughs> it's not appropriate. Okay, don't tell me then. I won't. Right, these are quite cool. Um, a men's grooming kit, they're 9 99 They look good. Chloe, what do you call him? Oh, I'm a little man. It's a giant slippers, look. Fifo full thumb. Yeah. 
Right, okay, let's go and work our way to the paint section. So they've got some nice blinds here. Velvet. What are they like? Velvet, crushed velvet. These are, I've not seen them like a velvety um, texture before. They're quite nice, aren't they? That's like a chenille one. That's a word. What face did you pull then? I thought you were making stuff No. I hope that's how you pronounce it. See, these are nice too, aren't they, with the sparkly bits on the end? Yeah, that's pretty. That gives me like. No. Was it like that? Did you make it like that, Ebony? What does it say? What do you think? One direction. Yeah. Right, we're just going into the homeware section now, and these are cool. I love that stool there. I don't know how much it is, but it's like a shabby chic kind of washed wood effect. Um, they've got different stools at the top there, if you can see. And then there's like a jewel type footstool there for 19 99 There's one down here as well, so it's just a bit different. So just have a little look around here. That's um, a cupboard. I've got that in um, the front of my um, house when you first come in by the door. What's that? A Bluetooth sideboard. That's a bit posh, isn't it? Look at this. Look, Chloe. Oh, is that a Bluetooth table? LED lighting. LED lighting table. That's a bit snazzy. It's Bluetooth nester tables. <laughs> and this is a two drawer desk with speakers so um, that's what it looks like up there and you've got the speakers at the top part which is they look on? quite new in I think I not the prices on everything are they right so now we're going to look for some paint to do up some projects that we've got and um, we're looking for chalk paint um, oh look at that look adds subtle shimmer to paint and wood varnish some pink glitter there so we're just gonna have a look around there seems to be some sort of gorilla in a box here <laughs> they just i think they're just getting a lot of stuff out there's a lot of boxes everywhere yeah i think so oh ebony how much would you like that box there imagine if all that box was just three pounds do I get, just get one for one twenty nine, or do I get three? It's up to you. Buy just one, see how you get on with them. Mum, what, Mum, why has Courtney got that turtle thing? What? Oh, I forgot I had this. Courtney, you're not having that turtle, <laughs> Matt. How much is it? You have it. Oh, <laughs> but look, it comes with Michelangelo. Oh, well, if it comes with Michelangelo, then we really must get it. Yeah. Right, this um, section here, they've got some spray paints and um, bits and pieces. So um, there's paints down there that you can do your radiators. Um, I haven't seen this before. This is a fluorescent paint. Oh, okay, that's bright, isn't it? Um, then we've got some primers and gloss and moving up there are we've got different chalk paints so these are $6.99 a can and you go all along you've got your pastel greens your pale sort of rosy pink colours that's really nice that's lovely isn't it so you've got a dark hessian and an old hessian and a vintage white and that's um, cafe espresso so there's $6.99 and then you're moving on we've got the Johnston's paint which um, you've probably heard of the paint anyway so this is a make that I'm going to um, going to give a go so they do the chalky finish which is a furniture paint and they do it in various different um, colours and these are flavours then so we've got the vintage duck egg <coughs> yeah they've also got the dusty morning in stock here the antique sage which is also really nice and this is recommended at 8 99 but they've got it in um b and m at 7 99 and then we've got this blue color here and they do um a white one as well but they don't seem to have that in stock no. what's the white one called um chalky white. furniture white yes yeah, so um, they've, they've sold out of that one but i'm wondering about using this one um i'm not sure <laughs> But if I just move up, they also do cupboard paint as well. So if you want to give your kitchen cupboards a bit of a revamp, um, you can paint this over the top. So that's $14.99 um, a tin. And again, they've got like, they've got a green, a blue, antique cream, um, pale grey. Um, what else they got, Chloe? 
and you know we've done the antique cream and the White black. And the black. Yeah. You've got the kitchen and bathroom paints up here as well. Ah, so these are tile paints. So if you need to um, paint any tiles or anything like that. These are, um, that's white, and then we've got um, aquamarine and the sky blue at the top there. Right here we've got some metallic paint as well, so they do like a silver and a gold, um, so you can decorate frames and things um, with that, but that's um, $8.99. And they've also got some wallpaper gems. Um, they're $1.49 a pack, or they're on three for four pounds, so um, they're really pretty. And they've got some of the glitter here. This is the gold glitter that you can mix in with your paint. There's some felt protectors there and some of the transparent type um, protectors. Let's just have a quick look at, down at the wallpaper and see. It seems to be getting more old fashioned, I find, the wallpaper now. I don't know. We looked into, um, where did we go? B&Q yesterday. And it seems to be kind of like going back quite a bit. Um, I've got um, a couple of rolls of wallpaper that I'm going to be using in, um, well, one roll of wallpaper I'm going to be using for a project and then one that Ebony's going to use as well. Um, so the prices generally are not too bad in here, you know, for wallpaper and things as well. well I'll just have a look down this section as well. All sorts of vintage styles. That's quite nice, look with the bird cages on. Quite pretty cool. Neil, I like that. That is really nice. I live in room with it. That's very me, isn't it? Yeah. That's twelve ninety nine. Let's see what else we've got. This is quite nice as well. That's a new one. Way to the price. And there's a gold down there. Look, that looks like gold leaf. Look at that. Let's have a quick look. There's a black one. Look, sparkly. Look, Peppa Pig. The little ones. They're nice. So it's quite um, quite a bit of a a uh, range there. What's close spotted? No, no, it's just the paint. Oh, cool. Oh, paint. it's telling you what paint goes with yeah. it. But then, what's happening around the corner? Freezer department. I, I feel like we're in Iceland all of a sudden. Massive in here. So I don't know if they're doing it in all of them. But around this bit, there wasn't really much before. It was sort of um, garden stuff they used to put there. But this in our store, it's got um, it's got all this now. So let's have a look in here, see what there is. There's some, what are these? Unbaked cheese and onion rolls. So, oh, they're 125, look. These are 125, so you just put them in the, in the freezer. Mini roasted, 150. Unbaked rhubarb and custard lattice slices. Just in this frozen chicken section, there's some um, chicken strips there. They're 189. The prices actually seem to be really, really reasonable. Um, they're really quite good. What else have we got? They're just looking at some more wallpaper over there. We found a really nice um, birdcage one that me and Chloe both like. Let's just go down this section. We've got some lollies. So they're sort of like 99p a pound some chalk ices in there and fab lollies do you remember fab lollies the kids still like those how much are they they're a pound for six which is really good so this is that section right this is on the best buys bit we've got crispy chicken fillet burgers 150 um fish portions let's have a look around this side so we've got like the frozen chips and um all bits like that, oven chips. And I know it's not great food for you, but um, there's some quite good prices in here, if this is the sort of thing you're looking for. And what we've got, some chicken dippers and uh, bits and pieces like that. There's some good and fried chicken goujons at 189. Oh. Made from chicken breast. They look nice. Um, on the other Best Buy section, we've got some macaroni, cheese, and ham. They're 135, um, and some of the pastas, alpha bites, and various, various bits like that. And this section here, they've got all yogurts and um, cheeses and ham and things like that. Got some pucker pies in there, two pounds. Slightly different to the ones that you get in the chip shop. That's good. Puff pastry, six pence. Got sandwiches, um, little salad pots down there. 
Um, what have we got here? We've got some um, filling, so luxury cheese and onion filling. There's some um, crab filling there, chicken tikka, and then you've got your sandwiches. And then also over there, there's some pasta pots as well. Do you want to look at those, Courtney? Those pasta pots. Some hot and spicy chicken wings for two pounds. There's a um, rack of ribs there for two ninety nine. We've got some salads down the bottom there. So they're 165, 175. We do like cheese ones and chicken and bacon and pasta. There's a little carbonara there for a pound. That's handy as a little snack. And also a little pasta bolognese. That's good for a snack as well. We found them little J2O lollies, a pound a box. How many did you get? Three? three yeah, that's London quite good. Also, so Very nice. Yeah, got a little milk in it. That's good. So yeah, that's quite good. They've got a few different bits and pieces here. So we're just going to make our way to the checkout. Um, and um, they haven't got the paint that we want, so we're just going to call through to another store to see if they've got them. Um, so we'll see you all in a bit. Hi guys, so um, I'm just going to show you the um, couple of items here that I've picked up and these are for um, our next project that we're going to do. So we are actually going to shabby chic these and we're going to revamp them and bring them um, more up to date. Now they are really beautiful pieces of furniture in their own right and they do look really nice just as they are. Um, but I am going to change them and I'm going to um, paint them as well. Now I bought these from eBay and um, you can pick bits of furniture up they have them in the classified ads um, also on Facebook they have a marketplace as well so um, if you keep your eye on there sometimes they um, have things for sale in there right so the first item I want to show you here is the um, Welsh dresser so this is a really um, strong solid wood Welsh dresser and um, I will be putting that in one video to show you how I'm going to revamp it and how I'm going to sort of change the look I've also got this um, writing bureau as well um, this is really nice. Um, it hasn't got a key with it, but this was £30 for this. Um, these both came from the same seller. Um, it was a little bit more for the dressing table, but not too much more. And they actually delivered them here for me as well. So um, I was quite chuffed to bits with that. So I'll be doing the um, writing bureau up too. Now I just want to show you the paint that I've found. Now um, they do actually sell this in B&M and, and we're going to have a look in B&M but they don't have the particular colour or they didn't have the particular colour that um, I was looking for. So the one that we've got that we're going to do these in is Cushion White. Now I know this um, Johnson's paint has been around for a little while um, but they haven't, they've only just done the chalky range um, so they've priced it quite competitively. Now I bought this from a local DIY shop and they tend to sometimes put a pound or so on for things, um, you know tins of paint and whatnot but B&M have it for 7 99 I think the retail price is 8 99 but because they have the colour I wanted, then um, I've bought it from in there. Um, they also do this lovely vintage duck egg colour, um, which I was originally going to paint it in. But I think I'm going to stick for um, stick to the white. Um, then I've picked up some of this finishing wax. And this is what we need to put, put over the top. That's Bella barking at anything. What we need to put over the top. But I also picked up one of these little leaflets as well. And um, I think I... I can't remember where I picked this up from, which shop now. Um, I know it wasn't B&M. But these are the colours that they do in the chalky furniture paint. So there's the antique sage, which was re looks, looks really nice as well. And like a grey one and a blue. Um, and then through the book, they do sort of all different metallic paints and and things. So I'm going to give this range a go. We obviously know the, the more um, popular ones, but I want to give this this range a go to so a couple of things as well that I picked up um, I tried to get them from sort of the discount shops in Poundland so I wasn't spending a great deal on doing them up um, Poundland I got the um, dust sheet also got the sanding blocks um, I think Poundwell plus I got the roller jumbo sponge which I just actually cut in half because Chloe's doing her um, baby changing table um so what we did was we washed that down or um chloe washed it down with ebony with some of this sugar soap yesterday just to kind of prep it ready um so we just cut the sponge in half just so they could have one each um i also picked up some gorilla glue um i know that this was recommended by a few people so uh, i just sort of wanted to pick one of those up for another couple of projects that i've got in mind i picked up some fix and grout this marble cover, a marble effect cover, is for something we are doing with Phoebe. 
which I would like to feature on the channel when we can get that completed. And a separate project I have, I think it's closed, so I might not be able to open it for you. Um, but there's some white tiles in there from B&Q. So there's a few projects here. Um, but as I say, I sort of have been collecting bits as I've gone along and tried to get the cheaper items where I could. Um, I have got to buy a couple of other bits and pieces um, for this, so I'm going to change it very slightly. Um, but as I say, look out for those because they will be coming in some videos very shortly. Right, I'm just going to uh, show you down the craft room. I've had a little bit of a um, move around inside the house to fit the Welsh dresser in. Um, so I've brought the big table down into the craft room and um, I'll just show you when we've put it for now. So we've just come in here now and what we're doing is um, I've listed these for sale, um, these, these sort of chairs, because I don't really need them down here. And um, I've bought this table down that we had in the dining room and popped it into the craft room. So um, the kids can do their work here as well. And it's a much larger area for me to do my um kind of craft things on as well so um when these sofas have gone i'll be able to sort of sort out a lot of the other stuff um because the next thing that i want to do is i've got these tiles here and i've got a project that i want to try and do a craft project um on saturday um and to do it i need to prepare these tiles um for what i want to do so if I've got time, then um, I'm going to do those this afternoon and um, sort of get that on. But as I say, the craft room will be very different over the next sort of couple of days when we can get it all tidied and sorted. And hopefully we'll have like a lot more space in the middle area um, as well. While I'm down the craft room, I'm going to show you these stools. Now, Carl found these. I think they were either eBay or from the Facebook marketplace. And he, ha he actually got two of these for a fiver. Um, they might have been eBay actually, now I remember. So they worked out £2.50 each. So the kids are going to decorate a stool each, Courtney and Ebony. They're going to decorate one each. So I've told them they can do it exactly how they want. Um, and we will keep those in the craft room here, like alongside the bench part. Um, but I thought they were um, a really good price for, for two fifty. So that'll be another project for them. And as I say, Chloe's working on her um, like baby changing table as well. The dream team. Yeah. Do you know what you're doing? No. Right, so Carl and Courtney went to pick it up. Let's have a look, Phoebes. So this is the cabinet that I'm going to do it and it's got oh, some yeah. really ace feet on it and it's got the key as well. So it even let's have a look if it's locked. Is if it it's locked? locked and we can't get in it, Phoebes, we're in trouble. Right, there we go. So this is going to be, that'll probably open at the top. Yeah. Our little, our new little project. So I might, I think I might start this one first, but I have like a long line of jobs to do here. So there we go. That's all collected, all the bits of furniture in. We just need to start decorating now. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now.